You know, I think music is so many things. First, I just want to commend you for, for your mission and your work. And for me to see a young person doing this type of work with the type of, uh, of enthusiasm that you have and the energy that you're bringing to it, uh, it's required because there's many generations work. And, you know, there, there are others, of course, before us, before me, before you, who have uh, worked to, to illuminate the value of music. And uh, music is so many things, as you know. It's, it can be a product, which yeah. is how most citizens interact with it. It's something they hear on the radio that's been created in a studio to elicit a response so they can pay for it. It backs up films. It's for, for ceremonies like weddings. It's for parades. Like even now, everybody still knows Stars and Stripes Forever. It can create feelings of patriotism. It's uh, it goes with rituals of courtship. Yep. It uh, it, it is is a, a a way for you to remember things. Many times people say that if, if someone in their family has uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, they'll play songs from their youth, their teen years, and they can kind of collect the, the stream. We learn to speak our language through the music of that language. And um, music is a, is a way to channel the collective consciousness. That's why it was always used in religious ceremonies. And music is a very, it's, it's such a, it's such a, a transparent art form sure. that is, is ephemeral and it carries all the things that have to do with the invisible. So thoughts, emotions, things that pass by that are very fleeting, that change and it, with, with such succession. You can, you might remember something, you felt the backside of a feeling or something might be very el elated in one moment and in that very same moment you might suffer a deep depression. Right. Music is capable of all of these things. So it's singular in the arts. So uh, th those are some of the things that music does as an art form, sure. not as a discipline. Right. Okay. You know, as a discipline, it's something that, that people practice. Whether you have all of teamwork, synchronicity, math, uh, following and leading, uh, working together, achieving a goal. And it's a, it's a non-competitive sense of achievement, which makes it in a way superior to a competition. Mm because you're not relegated to achieving a, a standard set by someone else. You, you achieve a standard of soul with another group of people. Right. It's the largest body of diverse people working on a single sound, a, a symphonic orchestra, a group of people. You know, in a community, there's no other body like a symphonic orchestra with that number of people working toward the goal of creating art that you can sit in a hall and experience. Right. Of course, films and things right. like that sure, take sure, a sure. lot of people, but a symphonic orchestra is, is a, a large family in action. Right. Right. And it's also separated by function. You have a kind of unshakable optimism and a positivity that's not naive. So that's a, that's a fantastic characteristic to have because you're not sm smiley face, we are the world, you know, and you're equipping young people with not just and understanding that music is an art form that you that travels well, but that you can use the tools that you develop through music to uplift. And let's think about, let's go back to like the first people singing around campfires or something. They're singing and they start dancing and they're playing drums and they're telling tales of a hunt or they're talking about right. something that happened. They're begging for rain or the harvest. Now go to people at the end of a, a meal or something somebody can play. That person plays, they immediately gather a community. Right. Just think about a band starts in the street or people play in the mall yeah. or somebody goes into a hospital or they play. Immediately when that music starts, that community comes around right. because that's the nature of music. Somebody in your family can sing.